happy Christmas bird count season. Winter birds are rolling in here in North America, and it's time to get counting. From December 14th to January 5th, tens of thousands of people will be out counting birds for Audubon's 122nd Christmas bird count, also known as the CBC. It's always a great time to get out and connect with friends. I know I'm going to be doing at least two. If you want to find and join a CBC near you, check out the link below. While you're out all day on your CBC, you're hopefully going to be seeing a ton of birds. Unfortunately, counting birds isn't always easy, so today we're going to look at two ways to use eBird to help make counting and your CBC as easy and fun as it can be. The first part of counting birds on your CBC is noting down what you see as accurately as possible, which is easiest to do when you're actually seeing the birds and not so much from memory later. For example, there are about 50 black necked stilts in this photo we're looking at but that's probably going to be different from what you think later. If you count the stilts right now, it's going to be much more accurate. Luckily, quickly tallying counts of birds in real time is super easy with eBird's free mobile app. You can just tap in the search bar at the top of the bird list, enter a number like 100, type the species name like Canada goose, and then just tap the name Canada goose. If you see 500 more geese, just do that again, and it'll update to 600 total. It's pretty easy. After you've counted birds all day on your CBC, the second part is getting those numbers to your CBC compiler. Every group on a Christmas count will share their numbers with the compiler who pools everything together for the final count summary that goes to National Audubon. Luckily, eBird has a great tool to make sending numbers easy, eBird Trip Reports. eBird Trip Reports tally your full day of counts instantly. Just name your report with something that works for you I use the CBC name, year, and sector or area, and then pick the date of the CBC, like this. Every checklist you create during the CBC day will be pulled into the trip report, and the link at the top is all you need to share to let people know what you've seen. You can make your trip report at the end of your CBC day or create it ahead of time. Either way works and will automatically fill out when you submit your eBird checklists. Now you've got all your tallies and you're pretty much good to go. The final thing to check before sending this to your CBC compiler is any potential duplicate counts across checklists. Like if you checked a pond from two different viewpoints and counted the same flock of ducks twice. I know that happens to me every year. Make sure to note any corrections to the counts like this for your compiler when you send the report and you're good to go. Whatever you do, have a fantastic holiday season and see some great birds. Please share your CBC highlights and trip reports in the comments and subscribe for more birdie videos in the future. Hope to see you out there.